Good morning, friends, and welcome to Storytime at Home with Marin Benon Libraries. Look at me, I'm outside. I decided to come outside and read some stories to you today because it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous day today. And we're out of lockdown, Melbourne, so it's so wonderful. So I'm just going to sit out here in my backyard and enjoy the sun and read three lovely stories to you today. Our first story is called A Walk in the Park and it's by Anthony Brown. One morning, Mr. Smith and his little girl, Smudge, took their dog, Albert, for a walk. On that same morning, Mrs. Smythe and her son, Charles, were taking their dog, Victoria, for a walk. Look at that. Smudge, Mr. Smith, and Albert went into the park. Mrs. Smythe, Charles and Victoria arrived soon after. Albert was impatient to be let off his lead. Victoria waited quietly until Mrs. Smythe had detached the lead from her collar. Two very different dogs, aren't they? Both dogs were free. They chased each other all over the park. Mr. Smith went to sit at one end of a bench and, and Smudge sat with him. Mrs. Smythe sat at the other end with Charles. Smudge and Charles looked at each other. Albert and Victoria raced along the paths, dodging round trees, leaping over flower beds. First, Albert chased Victoria, and then Victoria chased Albert, and then Albert chased Victoria again so quickly that sometimes it was difficult to tell them apart. Look at them go. While the dogs played, Smudge and Charles edged nearer and nearer to each other. Look at them. Mr. Smith and Mrs. Smythe looked the other way. Smudge went on the swings, swinging higher and higher, as high as she dared. Charles was not so sure. Meanwhile, an angry gardener chased the dogs off the flower beds. <laughs> Look at them. They took off their coats and Smudge swung like a monkey on the climbing frame. Oh, that looks like fun. Albert felt too hot, so to cool himself, he plunged into the fountain. Smudge and Charles climbed a tree. They all played on the bandstand. <laughs> The whole world seemed happy. But Mr. Smith read his newspaper at one end of the bench and Mrs. Smythe looked the other way. They don't seem happy, do they? Charles picked a flower and gave it to Smudge. Uh, Albert, uh, Smudge, yelled Mr. Smith, time for home. <laughs> come here, Victoria. Come along, Charles, called Mrs. Smythe. Time for lunch. Mrs. Smythe took Charles and Victoria home. Mr. Smith took home Smudge and Albert. Very different homes, aren't they? And Smudge kept the flower. The end. Well, there's lots in that book, isn't there? Lots of differences. But the two people, the two little people made friends instantly and the dogs. All right, our second story is a Maisie story. Maisie goes to the show. Shall we read it together? Let's go. Today, Maisie and her friends are going to the theatre. The show is called Funny Feathers and the star is Flora Fantastica. Oh, look, that looks so great, doesn't it? Are you going to go to the theatre soon or maybe to a movie? Inside, everyone queues to show their tickets. Maisie is very excited. <laughs> it 
tickets please look at that they're all going in Maisie picks up a special book about the show it has lovely pictures in it oh lovely look at Maisie's book there she do does like books Maisie doesn't she they walk into the main theatre and find their seats here they are Maisie and her friends are in the very front row oh how wonderful everyone sits down as the music starts playing the show is about to begin. Look at them. Shush, says Eddie, and the audience is very quiet as the curtain goes up. Are you ready? <gasps> Lots of music. You can see the music there, can't you? How can you tell there's music? Because we put these notes on there and they can tell there's music and the curtain's going up. Flora flies onto the stage. Oh, isn't she magnificent? Hello, everybody, she says. <laughs> Shout funny feathers if you're excited about the show. Funny feathers, everybody says. And Tallulah is the loudest. In the play, Flora lives in the jungle. She dreams of being a star in the big city. I'll come with you, says Barry Baboon. <laughs> Chula and Pedro join in. Cock a doodle doo. Let's go too. Follow me. I know the way, calls Larry Lyon. This sounds like a great show. Between the scenes, special helpers come out to the stage. Oh, look, a kangaroo. <laughs> they roll the jungle trees away. Here comes the big city. Flora sings a funny song and then the curtain comes down. It's time for the interval. Maisie and Cyril go to the loo. Charlie buys lots of yummy snacks to share. Soon a bell rings, ding dong, time to go back to our seats, says Eddie. The curtain rises and the show starts again. Here they are. Everyone is having fun singing in the big city. We love fluffy, funny feathers. <laughs> After some adventure in the city, Flora and her friends decide to go home to their beautiful jungle. The show ends with a sing-along and then the actors wave goodbye. Everyone's waving goodbye. Everyone cheers very loudly. Woohoo! Bravo! Hooray! And then they all stand up and clap. And then it's time to go home. Clap, 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 clap. Maisie and her friends walk home together. They're still singing the songs from the show. What a lovely trip to the theatre. We love fluffy, funny feathers. Do -de do 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 do. Oh, that's going to be a great memory for them for a long, long time, isn't it? All right, and our third book out here in the garden and in the lovely sun, it's so great to have some sun, isn't it? Is Australian Baby Animals. All right, let's go. Many Australian baby animals are called joeys. Shy kangaroo Joey plays peekaboo <laughs> from its mum's cozy pouch. Look at that, peekaboo. A kangaroo's pouch keeps the joey safe and warm as its mum hops about. <laughs> Roly poly wombat joey nibbles grass staying close to its mum. Can you see it there? A wombat joey lives with its mum until it's about two years old. Tiny possum joeys cling to their dad as he leaps from tree to tree. Look at them go. The ringtail possum dad helps the mum look after their joeys. What's this guy? High in a gum tree, sleepy koala joey cuddles its mum. A koala joey 
naps up to 20 hours a day. Look at that. Cheeky Tasmanian devils. Look at them. They play all night long. Sometimes a Tasmanian devil joey will ride on its mum's back. <laughs> that looks like a fun ride, doesn't it? Some baby animals are called hatchlings. Oh, look at these. Brave crocodile hatchlings I catch a ride off their first off for their first swim. Hang on. Crocodile mum gently carries their hatchlings to the water in her mouth. Goodness gracious me. Oh, wriggly python hatchlings. Look at them. They slither away looking for a meal. Python mum coils around their eggs to keep them warm until they hatch. Look at them, they're starting to come out of their eggs there. This baby animal is called a fry. What kind of animal is that? It's a sea dragon. <laughs> they drift away from their dad. Dads have babies. Sea dragon dads carry the fry eggs on their tails until they hatch. These Australian baby animals are called chicks. Fluffy emu chicks. Look at them. Dart in and out of their dad's tall legs. The emu dad sits on the eggs and looks after the chicks after they hatch. <laughs> Noisy cockatoo chicks, look at them. Feed us, feed us. <laughs> oh, cockatoo chicks are covered with yellow fuzz. Very cute. Funny kookaburra chicks have their first laugh. Ooh, ka, 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 look at them. <laughs> kookaburra chicks are sometimes looked after by their big Brothers and sisters. Ah, oh. do you have a big brother and sister that sometimes looks after you? This baby animal is called a puggle. Oh, it's a hungry echidna puggle. And it's happy to see its mum because its mum's brought it some food. When a puggle hatches, it doesn't have any spines. That's probably a good thing, hey? These baby animals are called pups. Fearless flying fox pups. Look at them. They hold on to her mum as she flies through the sky. Hmm. The flying fox mum wraps her wings around her pups like a blanket. Nice and safe in there. Frisky dingo pups. Oh, 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 look at them up in the desert dunes to howl at the moon. <laughs> Dingo pups and dads hunt for food to feed their pups. Look at them. Some people call a baby platypus a platypus. <laughs> Clever platypus dive underwater searching for a treat. A platypus learns to find food with its eyes and ears closed. Goodness. And there they all are. Look at all those different hatchlings. A hatchling and a fry and a platypus and a pup and a puggle and a chip, a chick and a joey. What a great story that was, hey? All right, and I've got my doggy here too. She's been, hello to me. This is my doggy and she's been running around me as I'm reading the stories. You might have been able to hear her. <laughs> Say hello to me, hello to everyone. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for joining me out in my garden today for those three lovely stories. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll sing our goodbyes and we'll see you next time. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door. Dinosaur, rah! Take care, koala bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly.